Hi guys, today we're gonna learn to hand it back in from scratch. Welcome back to another 10 Fit Minute video and today we're gonna learn to hand it back in from scratch. First of all, I'm gonna show you guys how you should hold the racket and that will be with our non-dominant arm, if we are left-handed, we're gonna have the classic Eastern grip, and that is if we put the racket on the ground, and we're gonna hold it on the top here. Now, simply the dominant arm, in my case the right hand, is going to come on the side here, and that will be the hammer or continental grip. So for the dominant arm, I will have the index knuckle on the bevel number two. So once again, non-dominant arm on the top, picking up the racket from the ground, which is actually Eastern forehand grip for the left-handed player, and then dominant arm on the side, hammer grip. We are set, we are ready to go. Now I'm gonna explain the back end in a very simple way, but I also want to incorporate all the elements that can build your back end to the advanced level. So I'm gonna break down the back end into the six part and I will show you an exercise that you can do by yourself so that you can practice back end when you're alone on the court and when you don't have a partner. So the first part and very very important as in any sport it starts from the ground up that will be preparation and the feet position. So we will start with a split step and that is a small jump. We always want to be on our toes that will prepare us and make us ready to get into the shot. So we will do the split step. One thing to add here, very important is the timing of the split step. And that is exactly when the opponent is touching the ball or the forehand, doesn't matter which shot, we need to be already in the air and kind of descending towards the ground. So we need to initiate the split step before they actually touch the ball. So. If they're playing the forehand, when they start their swing and the racket starts accelerating, we can already initiate a split step. Now, the second part starts immediately after that, and that will be the unit turn initiation of the swing with our racket pointing up. So we basically just turn our torso, our upper body, whilst remaining the same feet position for this part, for the second part. Now, the third part, it's the search of our stance and the adjustments of our feet while in that position here. So this is the second, the third part will be coming with our right foot forwards if we are right-handed and then we are set and ready for the next part. For the third part here, it's important to notice that at this moment, depending on the speed of the ball, we can make small adjustments prior to the shot. So, if I have time, I can make some small adjustments here, make sure that I'm in the right place. The fourth part will include the initiation of the swing itself and also the racket drop. So, once we come here, we find the right place. Now we initiate the swing with our left hip here and we also allow the racket head to drop below the wrist here and then we slowly go into the contact point that will be the part number five which is the contact point itself so number four here bam, we start the bracket drop below the wrist and then we from here we actually use our non-dominant arm to lead the racket into the contact point this will be the part number five, the contact point itself, which as you can see is completely in front with the racket face being square to the net. The part number six and the last one, definitely not the least important. It's very, very important how we follow through and how we finish the swing. So from here, we want to extend as far as we can and then follow through all the way behind with stepping out with our outside foot, which in my case is the left foot. From this angle, from here, bam.
notice my dominant arm elbow is high we want to finish high with having the space below which will mean that we actually extend it enough and we had a nice follow through again so here is the exercise that you can do by yourself anytime you're on the court and when you don't have a partner and you want to master this amazing shot the two-handed backhand it's gonna look like this so we will feed the ball as we do the split step and we will do all the parts that we talked about so it's gonna look like this sometimes you will have to adjust the feed and it's not so easy to, to get a perfect ball but that's why you have to make those adjustment steps again you want to hit the ball in front of you with racket face square to the net once again let's see that in slow motion recap how to do a back end we first talked about the grip the non-dominant arm is the eastern forehand which we get by grabbing the racket from the ground the dominant hand coming naturally from the side which is a hammer grip then we have six parts number one the split step number two initiation of the swing number three getting into the nice close stance having that racket up elbows up number four initiating the swing with the hip with the left hip and then dropping the racket head below the wrist number five getting into the contact point and number six following through all the way with a high elbow finish and the stepping out of the shot i hope guys you liked it I hope that you found it useful and I wish you best of luck with working on your back end. It's a shot that requires a lot of repetition as any other and some people find it difficult because it incorporates two hands. Definitely, if you like this video, please smash that like button and share it with all the friends who need or want to work on their back ends, on their two handed back ends and definitely subscribe to our channel. We will keep making more videos like this and also we would like to hear back from you anything you would like to know or anything you have difficulties with and definitely keep working hard and keep having fun at the tennis courts i'll see you guys soon in our next video i'm going to show you guys how you should hold the racket and what is the best way um, what is the best way to hold the racket because this is this is actually um, replicating, this is actually uh, simulating the, the right timing of the step and that is when the opponent hits the ball. Uh, yeah.